Hi, I'm Lilius White. Hey, what's up? This is Tariq Black Thought Trotter. My name is Ephraim Sykes. Hi, I'm Theo Stockman. And you're watching B-Way Show. Hi everyone, Shoshana reporting for B-Way Show here at Black No More's opening night off-Broadway. Opening night, Black No More, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, really excited. So happy that we have this show opening tonight for New York City and for the world. It's an important show and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. I feel uh, extremely out of body. It's incredibly surreal. We've been working on this show, some of us, for three and a half years, I think the first reading was. Um, so I feel very proud to be a part of it. I think it's really important. I think it's really groundbreaking. And I, it, I don't know, to do a musical or a, a new play at all right now is surreal given the past few years. <laughs> but to do this one, it just feels, uh, yeah, out of body. You know, it's a science fiction story based on uh, the early you know, Afro-futurist novel of the same title. Um, yeah, I play uh, a mad scientist, if you will, who, uh, I don't know that I'm mad actually. I play a scientist who, who, with the best intentions, that, you know, it doesn't necessarily work out the way I planned. Um, but I've been a machine that, you know, in my mind is going to solve the American race problem, you know, by turning black people white or, you know, giving black people the option to turn white. And, um, you know, hilarity and tragedy and, you know, satire. Uh, all in, in two, not necessarily in that in that order. It's wild. It's crazy, <laughs> you know? uh, and it just is so thought provoking. It just prepare yourself for a very wild ride, and a ride that I think will encourage you to think and think beyond what uh, you might have thought before. We love the drama. We love the suspense. <laughs> some of it is dramatic. Some of it is funny, and some of it is heartbreaking. But um, it's an important story that needs to be told at this time in history. Oh yes, extremely important to our culture. Um, and again, it addresses some issues in ways. Again, we're talking about a Afro Afrofuturistic uh, show. For it doesn't happen very often in that in itself. Let alone the way we're going about telling this story, the questions that it brings up, how it handles colorism, how it handles American history, how it handles uh, the power dynamics between white supremacy and not just Black Lives, but uh, the capitalism it just it brings up a lot of stuff that uh, is, I think is really a brilliant concept so for us as black people to have a black man writing it to have a black man choreographing it to have a stage mostly compli comprised of black people and not only that but black thought who's done the music and the lyrics that are just so incredible and poignant um, it's a moment in time for us uh, it's not often that we get a piece that speaks to our issues especially in black history month so yeah <laughs> this is a story that was written back in the 30s and you know, for it to be revamped and to come to life is a wonderful part of black history. The fact that you have these many uh, fantastic artists together on one stage is it's, it's an historical moment for the theater and for entertainment and for black history. It's powerful, it's tragic, it's, it's darkly funny, you know? Um, so I think we were all finding that together and that takes time, you know, it takes time to get the tone right and, and do justice to these incredible words and songs and, um, and, and messages that, we, that we're delivering. Let's just talk about working with Black Thought. <sighs> <laughs> it's really wild. I literally have to like pinch myself in the butt like while I'm on stage every night just because like it's weird. Like I look across me and I'm speaking to this man as I'm speaking his words and I kid you not, The Roots and Black Thought have always been one of my favorite, actually my favorite band always. Black Thought has always been one of my top, I would say top three to top five MCs ever. Like so just, it's just such an honor to be able to uh, be on the stage with that dude and talk to him backstage. He's so down to earth. He's such a huge heart. I'm just inspired constantly. I mean, you're going Temptations, you're going The Root. Yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of uh, some great things happening in my life that I, I don't know how I deserve it, but look, I'm just gonna take the ride and, you know, just say thank you for it. Well, you definitely deserve it. All the fans are cheering you on. Thank God for all of your blessings, and whenever you're feeling down and out, just look around and count your blessings. Fans who are excited to see it, uh, we are excited for you to see it. This has been, you know, a long time coming. Um, you know, the, even the realization of the project to this point, um, it feels like a moon landing, you know? So, um, you know, please come out and check it out and, you know, form your own opinion, um, feel all the feels and, you know, emote and, um, you, know, uh, you know, partake and uh, be, behold 
this 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 work of art. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations and happy opening. Thank you, Shoshana. Thanks for the continued support, the continued love. Thanks for continuing to show up to theater and keep us engaged and investing in us. And let's keep it moving. Let's keep doing it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the show. Hey.